What's up guys? So my voice is finally back. I have a bunch of messages from Instagram and not really on Twitter, but a lot on Instagram. Just like questions for a business or whatever. So I'm finally gonna be getting back to you all of you with that. I'm sorry I took so long. If my house is a mess in the background, I, I apologize again. But without further ado, let's get to it. My like, like I said, my voice was gone for a week. I was trying to make videos last week and answer all these, but if anyone follows me on Snapchat, it was awful. It was absolutely brutal. So here we go. <coughs> See what I mean? Like it's it's not all the way back, but it's basically there. Back. So first one comes from D dot B O N I L L A fourteen. See who it actually is. Diego Benilla. I don't know who it is. I hope I'm pronouncing that right too. Diego says, well, I watched your most recent YouTube video, so that answered a question very well. If I had one, it would be on top of doing what you do now, what's a good tip, what's a good tip to keeping your business up as long as you have, being that you're so young? Good tip for keeping it. Aside from like the basic Gary Vee answer, which is just like work, like do what it takes, like keeping it is more, I guess was just say consistency. If you're not like keeping on the day to day, whether it's the marketing, whether it's the sales plan, like having a plan for the next six months is helpful. I don't even think I have a business plan for my companies. Like it's just basic stuff. Go sell, go close. Like I probably should, which maybe I'm just not as like successful as like I think I am. But I would just say for keeping it would be consistency. Making sure that you're doing everything it takes day in, day out not slacking you gotta like whether it's writing it down writing it down helps a lot because it's like on paper you can forget like everybody forgets nobody remembers everything like let's say you're reading you only retain like 13 percent of information the first time you read it and 97 percent of statistics are made up on the spot including that one but something really low it takes like six times to read something and you retain like 67 percent of it which i know that's like actual statistic that wasn't that one wasn't made, made up but i'd say consistency um like following through the reason my whatever if you even want to call it, my company is successful I think they're doing pretty well for a 21 year old but the reason I would say that I've had the success that I've had whatever you want to call it would just be actually following through I know way too many fucking people that come to me and be like yo I got a business idea like yo you want a partner like yo like all this stuff like everybody's got a business idea everybody wants to be an entrepreneur but Actually following through with your ideas is the step to keep it the longevity of it and the long term of it like legit if you're not Because everyone has an idea ideas aren't shit if, Excuse me if you sell ideas then you can make money off of it Which that's a completely different story. I was just talking to one of my partners recently like until you take action Your idea doesn't make you money unless you sell that idea So if you can write up here's an idea for a business for all of you that guys want a business This is my free gift to all of you who are watching this video Write up business plans and sell them on LinkedIn entrepreneur whatever and maybe James is probably gonna be super upset at me that I'm even saying this to you guys because it's like my next move and 48 laws of power it talks about don't give up Don't give up your like next moves and all that stuff But whatever if you guys can do it better than me by all means I'll go into competition with anybody any day like any day of the week because I know what I can do and I know that I follow through but ideas are great until you're actually following through so like I said consistency following through all that uh, hope that answers your question Diego I want to say your name was yeah Diego Let's see what else we got wow I'm really I'm still dying like I'm not trying to manifest bad health but I'm still dying like I still keep coughing or whatever and it was super annoying last night I was at my buddy Nico's house like just coughing like all night and it was not fun anyways next question comes from Aaron Cantoni e-r-i-n-n underscore c-a-t-o-n-i and she asked um, what is your account all about uh, and then I was like just trying to be motivational just life stuff dumb stories my you all know my stories could not be dumber like I don't know how I get so many views on it. I try and just post like funny stuff, normal like the day to day stuff. Like Gary Vaynerchuk's huge like mentor, like I don't know him personally obviously, but just his content, his ideas are phenomenal and I'd recommend them to anyone who like wants success in life or happiness and all that BS. Even though it's good stuff, it's not BS. Uh, I'm just like talking. 
but what's the so she goes what's the purpose of it are you sponsored by anyone or are you just sharing your story like everyone else your account seems different than everyone else that's why i asked uh and so my answer to that was it's just my personal account like i have my personal account and my diplab account i have all the accounts i run with summit consulting and then i have my other business accounts for summit diplab I used to have an Arbonne account, but I don't have it anymore, and I have a nonprofit uh, account for that because it's obviously social media is huge and it's like f super inexpensive marketing. Um, the purpose of my Instagram account, let's say, I just like to post stuff that gets engaged. So to fully answer your question, I actually got a phone call while this was mid-recording, so that's why I had to cancel. To finish answering the question, main point of this account is somewhat for motivation, which everybody says just to post do she see it. A lot of just like it's my personal account so I post like stuff I do on a daily basis that I think is fun um, so I'd say motivation stuff that makes me happy fun stuff and as much business stuff as I can do I've been doing the business tips of the day recently in my stories or whatever so I try to make it as like helpful as possible so if that, I hope that answers your question